that we've got uh, His Excellency Simon Lalon, Governor of Plateau State and also Chairman of Northern Governors Forum. Good morning, Your Excellency. Thank you for joining us on the program today. Now, a lot has been happening. Now, perhaps stay well before the voting begins today. So, tell us, do, does your party have a consensus as of yet on who the flag bearer will be? Thank you very much, Chamberlain, and uh, good morning. Uh, well, we had a press conference yesterday of our meeting, Mr. President. And in that meeting, we listed reasons why we believe that in the interest of fairness, interest of uh, equity, and the interest of sense of belonging uh, is what we have been drumming for a while during this campaign. That uh, for fairness, the presidency, uh, we believe that the ticket must also shift to the south. And that was what we did yesterday. We had a wonderful meeting with Mr. President when we had rumor that uh, there was a decision for a consensus candidate, and which um, many of the appearances you know, they didn't believe, believe it was coming from Mr. President. So we had a meeting with Mr. President, and Mr. President answered, yes. I don't have a favor of candidate. I see how to continue to conduct the national working with the national team. And I will make to we do have uh, some distortions with your audio, so if you could just give us a moment, we need to uh, sort that out. So we'll try that connection again and then hope that it will improve and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So, uh we do have him back now. Uh, Your Excellency, well, thank you for hanging out with us. So could you go ahead and tell us, we, were, we did ask you what, because even though delegates, politicians say, what is going on within your party is normal politics in their own term. But clearly, from what uh, a lot of people have seen, this is not how normal your party wanted to be. In fact, some delegates may uh, be confused at the end of the day. So uh, what should the people, the delegates expect, or even the people expect when they head for the convention today? Is it going to be consensus, or will there be indirect voting? Thank you very much. I told you that uh, uh, the consensus is possible, because uh, right from yesterday up to today, We've been doing consultations, like Mr. President said. Uh, I give you opportunity to work on it. Uh, the governors and the National Working Committee will continue on that consensus. And as from yesterday, we are able to even reduce, for us, uh, made recommendations of uh, about five persons. Five persons, you can imagine, from 23 to about recommendation of 13, graded, not... Uh, not disqualifying anybody, but then within that thing that were graded by the screening committee, we now look at it and for us recommended. That was jointly done between the governors, the progressive governors, and also the national members of the National Working Committee, reducing it to five. So for our own recommendation, as of this morning, we recommended five people. And in uh, alphabetical order, we said, uh, Bola, uh, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu. We also recommended uh, His Excellency uh, Chiboke uh, Rotimi Amechi. We recommended His Excellency John Kaidi Fayomi. And also uh, we mentioned His Excellency David Omai and also His Excellency Professor Yemi Osibanjo in alphabetical order, not in a in order of priority. So those were the ones we made recommendations, and we said we should put them forward. And don't forget, all these delegates also came from different states, and it's the governors that brought them. And so the governors themselves are in touch with their delegates. 
with their delegates at every moment in time. That is what consensus means. So at the end of the day, we are saying that, yes, when we discuss this, we'll have uh, at the end of the day, but it is not um, uh, saying that uh, it, will, uh, it will stop anybody from contesting because our recommendation is to allow us give direction to some of our delegates who are also waiting for direction from each of the various states. Why, what was the criteria for recommending these five people? Does it mean that, um, why did you disqualify or did recommend the other people? Well, I told you that uh, the screening committee submitted a report. And from that report, uh, even uh, when they didn't uh, say we are disqualifying anybody, but I think everybody had grades. They were graded. All the people were graded as usual, because if you go into an interview like that, you are graded. They will say, okay, this is our cut of marks. Um, you, are, you are moving into it. But within the cut of marks, we think that this man, these people got uh, this so marks uh, over the, uh, got uh, these marks that are recommended. And so it is out of that, that we now said, okay, if this was the recommendation, we cannot go with everybody. But we are not saying that we are stopping anybody. But for us, we believe that these are the people that will go in. So uh, uh, that was. Wait, do, do we expect that of these five people, do yes. we expect that the person that got the highest mark will get the perhaps nomination at the end of the day? Or these five people no, no. will meet among themselves? and select one person while every other person support them? No, as of yesterday, we, 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 we gave them a hint. And we told them, okay, out of these five people, if you can all go and sit down and bring up within yourselves and bring out one person, because the president said, out of this, anyone that is selected, I am comfortable with. So the next phase is first to allow the contestants to also go back, sit down within themselves and possibly bring out one person. Otherwise, we are going, we are moving into the elections. The Northern governors have said they're picking, I mean, they'd like uh, Southern, they believe power should go to the south of the country. Um, yeah. That would, um, might explain why you have not uh, included uh, Senate President Ahmed Lawan, who you said you heard in a rumor. Uh, who transmitted this rumor to you? Well, uh, it was just a few minutes when we were having a meeting with the Mr. President. We were already at the villa uh, preparing to, to get into the meeting. And I think about three minutes, somebody came up and said, uh, there is an information from the, from the National Secretariat of the party that uh, they were briefed, that uh, the national chairman told them that uh, the, they were recommending... Uh, recommending... Uh, we are recommending uh, Senator Ahmed Lawan, His Excellency Senator Ahmed Lawan. So the information did not even get to us, but the person who had the information kept to himself until after we finished our deliberations with Mr. President. So we were told that that was the issue. So we tried to reach out to our members at the National Secretariat, and many of them were telling us no. He mentioned it to them, but then it was not a decision by the National Working Committee. So we went on with our, our press conference thereafter and came up after the press conference to have a meeting with the remaining members of the Progressive Governors Forum and then move to the Secretariat to have a meeting to also hear from them, uh, whether it was rumor or whether it was real. Let's see. Uh... One name is unmistakable in your list of recommendations of uh, five aspirants, and that is uh, the national leader of the party and former governor of Lagos State, Ashiwa Jubola Tsunubu. And indeed, because of that, the permutations are that the decision of the northern governors to zone uh, the candidacy of the party to the south is because they are actually in support of um, that aspirant, uh, Bola Tsunubu, if you were to narrow it down to one, would that be the aspirant you would choose? And if at the end of the day he doesn't get the ticket, how will that uh, affect the chances of the party? 
No, 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 no. Uh, we, we, we were not particular to a particular candidate. We all graded them and we said, these are for us. These are candidates that we met and uh, made suggestions. And if we presented them, presented it to Mr. President. We said, because Mr. President said, I have given an, an, uh, an instruction. And I believe that that instruction was going to be deliberation between you and the National uh, Working Committee to come up and reduce the number to about five. And so when we went back, it, uh, we now reduce it to five. And like I told you, it's not in order of priority, but alphabetically. So uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu is one of the five because his name is Bola. It starts with Bola. That is B. Not that it was in terms of grading. So it was. So we recommended five, and out of these five, we believe that everybody that fought for was competent. But at the grading, we believe that uh, these people are front line. I would call it front like front line. So any of them, and which Mr. President agreed, he said all, all any of these five had contributed well to the party. And if one of them becomes the candidate, I am comfortable. So we are not saying. We are particularizing it, that, and all of them believe that. We also believe that if anyone am, among these five is today elected, we will accept it. Excellency, at the moment, uh, it suggests as though you're going to go back into meeting and continue meeting to see how you can arrive at a consensus, because you say it's possible. Is that right? It's possible. Yeah, consensus is possible. I told you consensus is possible. We gave them opportunity to now begin to sit with themselves. Right from yesterday, I, I'm sure they've been sitting. And right from yesterday, we just came up this morning. We've also been interacting and consulting with the possibility that at the end of the day, it may even be reduced to two. To two, two persons, and when we get in two persons, it's not difficult to elect two, two or three people, within two or three people. All we are saying is that we want to have a rank of free, our, uh, uh, and also give an opportunity to delegates to exercise their constitutional rights. All right, uh, Your Excellency Simon Lalong, Governor of Plateau State and Chairman, Northern Governors Forum. Thank you very much indeed for your time this morning. Thank you. Very grateful.